guys so welcome back um this is emily if you guys are new um <sighs> there are plenty of crazy videos of me on this channel if you love my personality and i hope that you do but if you don't it's totally okay that's completely fine with me um today i am filming an empties video plus i'm adding in some reviews for you guys because well, pretty much everything in here I have an opinion about, and who doesn't? I have a bag filled to the brim, filled to the brim, you guys. Like, some of these things, actually, this title's going to be kind of crazy because this is a empties slash declutter plus reviews on everything, even if I've decluttered it. Um, okay. So, it's pretty full. We're going to go ahead and get started. I don't know how long this is going to be. Playlists for all my empties are down below. Um, I just did one in April. And literally you're going to see another item from April in this one. So, I'm going to start with that one. Okay. So, like I said before, this is the Playtex Sport tampons that I like to use. And only the super ones because you want to make sure you're extra protected. Um, but, yeah. I don't know how I went through another box. I totally couldn't have. I think I was like, had half of the glass box and then like had to use some of this or something. I don't know. Okay. This House of Holland Nailed by Elegant Touch um, in Zigzag Stardust. These are all gone. None of the sizes that are left fit my fingernails anymore. Um, these are pretty good. I'm not really going to go into depth about these because I have a whole review about fake nails on these ones. Another set by this brand and my favorite ones of all time. If you want to see what that is, link is down below for you guys as well as a revamp your nails and everything like that down there. Check it out. Okay. Well, this is not an empty. I'm doing a review about them. Okay, so this is not empty either, but this is just something I had to get rid of because I asked my, well, this is my boyfriend. Sorry, that was really loud. My boyfriend uses the old, well, was using the Old Spice Wolf Thorn Body Wash. Looks like this. Everybody has seen Old Spice, I'm sure. Oh no. Okay. I hate the smell of this. One day I have forgotten, I've told this story before. One day I have forgotten to put my body wash in, so I was like, oh, I'll just use this. This is fine. Because I like the way that it smells on my boyfriend. I put it in my hand and I'm smelling and I'm like, this smells really weird. Um, so then I asked my brother, or not my brother, but I have, we're talking about, because he had just bought a new body wash, which I don't know why he needed it. Thank God he did. And he was like, um, does anybody use this? Because it smells awful. And I'm like, the wolf one? Yes, I know. It smells gross. So, it smells awful. Like, he, my brother, a boy, thinks it smells bad too. Um, this literally smells like, if you guys remember at school when a kid would throw up and, like to make it not smell like barf before they cleaned it up or something they would sprinkle like these like the stuff on top that was like wood dust or I don't know what it was it smells exactly like that mixed with barf like that's the scent it's not pleasant I hate it so anyways I know that was really obnoxious but I don't like it maybe it smells like just good on my boyfriend but like smelling it out of the bottle I'm using it on myself was no good for me okay um oh what are these these are like I literally have two lashes of these left so I'm just throwing it away these I think are Ardell lash tight lashes these are like the little individuals and you get like short medium and long lashes in here those are pretty good I would definitely recommend them but they are a little tricky to use since they are um, individuals to get them all lined up and stuff. Okay, this pink sugarberry um, by Better Homes and Garden. It's a limited edition, but they've had it out since like February. No, since March. Oh my god! Oh, oh my gosh! It smells so good. I have two others. I keep buying them because they are so good, and um, I put two in a wax warmer. 
um, melter thingy and I actually have my Yankee candle. It just smells the whole house. And I'm upstairs. So this is the bomb. These are like $2 at Walmart. They are so good. They're better than the Yankee candle ones because that only lasts for an hour and it's like the entire amount of this. This is like not really an empty, but it's a product I can't really use anymore. This is my e.l.f. eyelash curler. Um, it's just gotten so gunked up, I need to repurchase a new one. Um, typically, I'll like clean this off, but this is like far from cleaning, so we will just throw it away because it's only a dollar. This one, this one is very good. Really like it. Another empty is my soft and dry dry gel, no residue formula. That's clear gel in the soft scent. In the scent, soft scent. I guess we will smell you these are okay they really sting after I shave even if I've shaved with like whatever that's called shaving gel cream stuff yeah so I like it it's really inexpensive and it does the job so like that's fine by me I've got the Skin to Mitt Signature Scent Moisturizing Shave Gel in Raspberry Rain. Um, I just use this primarily for my underarm area and, you know, some other areas. Um, this one, I love, I love Skin to Mitt. They are so moisturizing, it feels amazing. But if you use, like, the Olay with the surrounding moisture, bar around the razor you don't really need this so um, I probably won't repurchase it but if I do have to this is the one any of these skin mitts I will repurchase um, I have this empty face secrets professional double-ended cotton applicators um, it comes with 50 and it, the one side is flat and the other side is pointed I really like it for cleaning up eyeliner or um, nail polish these were really good um, <sighs> So that was that. I think it was like two bucks at Sally Beauty. I've got this. It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. Um, this was a sample or something that was given to me, but this is actually full size. Um, I think I got it from Ulta or something when my brother worked there. And no, he's not gay. He just worked there. Um, this stuff is really good. It's pretty expensive for what it is, so I found other products that I prefer a little bit better. The smell smells... Like um, a good, con no, like a good salon product. It pretty much reminds me of my old hairdresser because she used It's a 10 all the time. Um, I like It's a 10. It's really good. It's just pretty pricey. Um, but I definitely recommend it. This Desange Paris California Blonde Illuminating Shampoo. Oh my god. This is going to have to be repurchased because I love the smell of it. I wish you guys had smell vision Sorry, that looks kind of gross, but... I wish smell of vision was real. It has passion flower extracts in it, and it smells like a beautiful bouquet of flowers. And that is like, I've never had a shampoo smell that way. I normally, they're always like fruity or just lemony, cause, or like cucumbery, because the blonde shampoos are like really strange. They all have different smells. This one, Got Rid of Brass, is from the drugstore, and it costs $10. I got mine at Target. Okay, you guys, this is the Pomegranate Lime Antibacterial Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. This is what it looks like. It's normally like this green liquid. Um, and these are the Alta brand. I really like these ones. I feel they're just super cleansing and they're a lot cheaper than the Bath and Body Works. Um, and they smell really good and they have a nice lather. They're just, these are really good, and you can normally get, like, they have the sale, buy two, get one free sale, and that's a really good sale, because, mm-hmm. Okay, let's see what else is in here. We've got the Primetime Foundation Primer by Bare Vitamin, Bare Vitamins, Bare Essentials, Bare Minerals, whatever you want to call them. This is my favorite primer ever. I can no longer scrape any of this product out, but it is a silicone base. I guess there's some here. But yes, it's a silicone primer, so if you don't like it, um, if you don't like silicone primers, this won't be the one for you. But if you need something that's going to fill in your pores, this is it. Don't get the oil control. I don't like it. But when you apply this, pat it into your skin. Don't like rub. You need to be patting it all the way through. That way it will help to really like fill in the pores. Okay. This is an empty 
pretty much because every time I try and use it, it's just like scraping up against my the edges are, and I don't like put my fingers in things. Um, this was the Honeydew. This one, for some reason, was very moisturizing, so I mean, if I really wanted to, I would buy it again, but not really. I don't like EOS all too much. Um, and then the rest of this stuff, oh no, there's one more empty. Oh, there's two more, I guess. Okay, so I have this e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. One side is clear mascara, the other side is gel for your brows, <laughs> um, brow gel. But I use both sides for brows, as you can tell. They're both tinted that way. They're empty. This is only a dollar, and this lasts me for about four months, I would say. It's a very good product, and my brows are always never flying away. They're always controlled. Okay, this, I don't know what brand this is. But you can pick these up at like Walmart, Walgreens. They're like this little remote or like this little battery powered eyebrow shaver or facial shaver. These are really nice, but this one somehow has gotten bro like it has broken. The whole thing comes out of here now. Like this part isn't even attached. And I mean, it's never attached because you have to put the battery in there. But I mean, it's different from what it used to be. I don't know how to explain to you guys. But um, the little blades aren't moving anymore, so it's broken, so I just have to get rid of it. They sell these everywhere for like $13. They're really nice. Okay, as far as the things that I have to get rid of because they're just not working for me, I can't make them work. One of them is the Hard Candy Lash Gal, Lash Call, Lash Cow. Lash Call Lengthening Mascara. This I just don't like the formula. If it was a different formula, the color would be great. But the formula is so bad. It's so wet. Like, I can't. And I'm not even going to put it in my hair. It's like a highlight in my hair. I use it. I use some colored mascara for my dog. Because he likes to have color in his hair. Um, I don't know. He likes it. All right. And then this is the EOS Pomegranate. Thing. I just tried it out again and it's just terrible. It's very rough and for me I get, um, since my like disease I guess, I get mouth ulcerations in my mouth and like pressing down hard on my lips as of right now is very hard for me because that's how you'd have to apply this. It really hurts so I can't use it so I'm not purchasing it anymore. If it's something very nice and soft and creamy I will use it. And I've got others that I like. This is the Flirt Opening Line Liquid Eyeliner in Pink Spell. It's just this really metallic pink liquid eyeliner. But I hate the brush applicator. It's terrible. And I don't really like this color as an eyeliner. So here's the liner. So I'm just getting rid of it. I don't, I would never use that as an eyeliner. I never have actually. Um, this is the Sephora Flashy Black. Oh! Well, that's really strange. This is the Sephora Flashy um, Liner Waterproof and 01 Flashy Black. Um, so I just got this whole thing to come out, which was really strange. Let me see if I can do it again. Well, this whole liner piece like came out of the tube. But, I don't know, it's not as black as it as I like. It does, it doesn't go on the waterline. And it's not really black, it's kind of gray. So, I'm getting rid of that. It doesn't really go on the waterline very well, which I know is waterproof, but I've had some that are waterproof that go on fabulous. Alright, and then this Maximum Strength Acne Medication in benzoil, with Benzoyl Peroxide um, is a gel to for acne. Uh, this does not work. This gives me literally like a rash on my face. So, Benzoyl Peroxide does not work for me. Salicylic Acid does. And I thought Target had changed their formula, but they didn't. The last thing I'm getting rid of is the Kat Von D by, from Sephora in True, Man, True Romance Eyeshadow Palette in Love and Fury. I have the one called Beethoven that I absolutely love, so I wanted to get this because I was super into Smoky Eyes at the time. It comes with one, two, three cream eyeshadows. They're all dried out, every single one of them. All dried out and they used to be really creamy this is very powdery this next one is very powdery but it's very pigmented but it's very powdery and the whole reason I was keeping it was for this dark gray right here but I actually was going through my collection yesterday and I found one 
so I don't need this. And then these colors over here are just terrible. The glitter in them is so strange and they're not they're not good. Like the glitter I thought was going to be really awesome, but it's really bad glitter. So I don't like this palette by Kat Von D. Um, cause the formulation is very weird. It looks really gross in here because of this eyeshadow, this cream eyeshadow, and these two cream eyeshadows. Um, so I just have to get rid of it. I'm not even giving any of this stuff to anybody. It's all going to be thrown away cause it's terrible. Um, if you do want to see more about hard candy items that I do like, I did talk about them a little bit. Um, there's a whole video. I'll link the hard candy review down below. But this I just can't keep. I can't work with it at all. I just hate it. So um, that's it for my empties, you guys. We are done. Just wipe my hand off. Well, that's lovely. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more empties videos, please empties videos. Let me know in the comments. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.